Hello and welcome to the Slow Looking series with Emma. My name is Barbara Ann Harkin and today I'd like to dedicate a little bit of time to looking at the artwork Alpha and Omega by artist Janet Malarney. This work is part of Emma's permanent collection and is currently exhibited as part of the Ghosts of the Recent Past exhibition, which is here until February 2021. The work is made of two almost identical parts that are displayed on walls directly opposite one another. Let's get comfortable. And once you're relaxed, come with me and we'll start to explore Alpha and Omega slowly. Let your eyes wander from side to side. First looking at the piece on the left wall, now on the right. Take your time, there's no rush. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to dedicate more time to looking at any particular aspect of the artwork. Let's slowly start understanding the artwork by looking at what it's composed of. How many parts can you identify? Let's zoom in a bit more. Are there any small details that catch your eye? What materials do you think the artist has used to make this work? What about the textures? If you could touch the work, how do you think it would feel? At first glance, the artwork looks white. Now that we've spent some time looking at it though, what colours do you see emerging? Let's zoom out again. What do you see? Is there anything you can recognise? Now that we've considered the physical aspects of the artwork and its details, Let's consider what the work might represent. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers and all interpretations are valid and welcome. You might have noticed that the object placed on top of the lit case resembles an animal. What animal do you think it might be? Why do you think that? The animal's legs are quite thin, ending with a small point. This gives the impression that the animal is lightweight or almost floating. What do you think? Did you notice the thin red bands around the belly of the animals, like thread bracelets? Why do you think the artist placed these bands here? What might they represent? Light becomes a material itself in this work and it's used in a very particular way, creating quite an unusual atmosphere. How does this affect the animal? Most importantly, how does this atmosphere make you feel? Let us imagine for a moment that we've been shrunk down to match the animal's size and that we're able to move freely around it. How do you imagine you would feel immersed in this work and its ambience? The title Alpha and Omega has a religious connotation, sometimes used to refer to the comprehensiveness of God including all. Taking that into consideration, does it change the way you see the work? I want to dedicate some time to talking about the artist who created the work to help us appreciate it a bit better. Alpha and Omega was made by Irish artist Janet Malarney. The artist was born in Dublin in 1952 and left Ireland as a teenager to study art in the Academy of Fine Arts in Florence. She later spent the rest of her life living between the two countries. Her practice mostly focused on sculpture, using a wide range of materials such as wood, plaster, wax and textiles to create figurative works, depictions of animals, and human figures. 
Like many artists of her generation, Janet Malarney was influenced by surrealism and its focus on the unconscious. This became a foundation of her work to later explore various aspects of the human condition. Janet often drew inspiration from religious settings, from the Hindu temples and shrines of India to the Catholic churches and monuments of Italy. Having considered the work and its potential interpretations, let's connect with the work and make it more personal. Janet Malarney often projected human and personal matters onto animals. She believed it's easier for us to relate to dark issues once shown through an animal. If you had the option of sculpting an animal, which animal would you choose? And why? What aspect of the human condition would you explore through your sculpture? It's wonderful the number of ideas that can arise out of one work once we slow down and look closely. When we give ourselves the space to explore the work, looking closely and experiencing it rather than needing all of the answers immediately, we can make more personal connections. I want to thank you for coming and exploring Alpha and Omega by Janet Malarney with me today. I really hope you've enjoyed your virtual visit to IMA and that you'll join us again. Thank you.